Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nastin Padasalai. In this video, we are going to do a complete analysis of this DBT Biotech Industrial Chinese program, which will be very much helpful for those students that appear for the examination because the difficulty level of question paper plays a significant role in determining the cutoff. At the same time, you can share this video with your juniors who are going to prepare for next year examination because in this video, I am going to tell you from which unit more number of questions has been asked. So first, we will be discussing from which section how many questions has been asked okay so from industrial biotech animal biotech analytical technique and bioprocess engineering totally three questions has been asked from immunology genetics rna technology totally four questions has been asked from ipr five questions has been asked and from bioinformatics two questions has been asked and from microbiology and biochemistry and plant biotechnology totally nine questions has been asked and from cell and molecular biology totally 15 questions has been asked from cell biology only three questions has been asked and from molecular biology totally 12 questions has been asked. So I thought that since it is a biotech industrial training program, many questions are been asking from industrial biotech and bioprocess engineering. But thank God, only six questions has been asked from both the topic and that too easily we can able to give answers for those questions that has been asked from industrial biotechnology. If you compare this BITP examination with gate BT examination, in gate BT examination from bioprocess engineering, many questions will be asked and all the questions will be asked regarding to analytical side. There will be many number of problematic sums will be asked, which is very much important which is very difficult for students who had studied MSc Biotechnology. But with regarding to this Biotech Industrial Training Program, from Industrial Biotech and from Bioprocess Engineering, only very little bit question will be asking. So don't worry, and all the question will be asked from the repeater topics only. Take for example, if you take Industrial Biotechnology, from Industrial Biotechnology, they had asked one question about industrially important microorganism. Like they will be asking which microorganism is responsible for producing citric acid. And this time they are asked which organism is responsible for producing dextrin at industrial scale. Okay. Next from immunology also question has been asked. So from uh, vaccines for coronavirus, there are two questions from hydronoma technology, one question has been asked. And overall, if you ask me the question paper, the question paper was easy to moderate level. So those candidates who are below average level, they can easily get through into the computer-based examination. You will be easily clear in the computer-based examination. Okay, so nearly 80% of question has been asked from the highly important topic and repeated question has been asked. So as I mentioned you earlier, you can't able to find a previous question paper for the CVT Biotech Industrial Training Program, but you can able to find a previous question paper for the Biotechnology Eligibility Test. Both the Biotechnology Eligibility Test and BITP program are conducted by Department of Biotechnology. The question paper setting theme will be same. So if you prepared a previous question paper for this biotechnology eligibility test, definitely you can able to clear this biotech industrial training program. In case if you can't able to clear this biotech industrial training program means definitely you can use your preparation for writing this biotechnology eligibility test. So for which they will be opening the online application form in the month of April or May. Okay, the only difference is that if you get clear in this biotech industrial training program means you can start your career in industry side. Whereas with regarding to this BET examination, it's just equivalent to your CSR examination. Those students who are clear in this biotechnology eligibility test, they can get into the research field. They can do their PhD by getting a fellowship. So many questions has been asked from the repeater topic or repeater question that has been asked in DBT biotechnology eligibility test. So overall 80% of the question has been asked from repeater topic or highly important topic which many students will be studying in the BSc level and MSc level. So overall question paper was set up in the BSc level only the question paper was there. It was not advanced level we can tell and of course nearly 20% of the question has been difficulty level. Those 20 question was very difficult to solve and even general aptitude and GK question was also asked with regarding to NCRT level question has been asked. So this is the overall question paper. In the next video, I will be definitely updating you the cutoff for this DBT Biotech Industrial Training Program. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.